I think depression severity matters, and it matters a lot when we're talking about whether or not a particular treatment is going to be effective. And I'm going to link this all back to that recent ketamine article that I discussed in the last video. So we could think of those who are receiving their depression treatment on an inpatient unit as having some of the most severe forms of depression because they've gotten to the highest level of care that psychiatry has to offer. So again, theoretically, these are people with extremely severe depressions. However, people can have moderately severe to severe depression and still be maintained on an outpatient basis. Now, how does that relate to the ketamine treatment? Well, there's a 2024 article from JAMA Psychiatry that's a secondary analysis of another randomized controlled trial. So that's a lot of big words, doesn't really matter. Point is, they looked at ketamine versus ECT, and one of their findings in the secondary analysis was that the setting mattered, and probably as a result of that, we're talking also about the severity of one's depression. So in this particular study, what they found was people who were taking ketamine and they were able to be maintained on, the, on an outpatient basis who still had moderately severe to severe depression, they did better with ketamine. Those individuals improved more than they did with ECT. However, those who went to the inpatient unit or were on the inpatient unit, they initially did better with ECT. So maybe some of the reason why we didn't see much of a signal or any improvement, for example, in that most recent study was because they were looking at inpatients and those with the most severe forms of depression. So how we define these things and the language we use to define them really does matter because it changes up completely the results that one may or may not.